What up, man? I'm just cutting the camera on, man. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little groggy and slow today. I'm like sick right now. I'm not 100 percent, bro. Like, uh, I came home last night and I just started throwing up. Like, I threw up more than I ever thrown up in my life. I threw up before, but uh, never have I threw up like every single thing I ate, like everything. But anyway, man. It's some uh, sports talk. A lot of stuff been going on, y'all. And I do want to talk about something that I was actually just looking at, man. We got to talk about Nick Foles real quick. We got to talk about Lamar Jackson. We got to talk about the Pistons. The Hawks, bro. Um, You know, we we got a lot of stuff to get into, man. Um, uh, First thing I'm going to say to start the video off, though. I just want y'all to remember, I'm saying this now. It's Christmas Eve. What is it, 2018? I'm saying this now, man. If the Lions don't draft a cornerback first round, I am through with these niggas. And I don't look. Look, man. Now, if we win the Super Bowl, I'll shut up. But I don't care how good the player we get instead of a cornerback is. Unless the dude is like, the greatest at his position ever, man. I don't care if we get Quinn Williams and when he gets 12 sacks in the season, you know. I don't care if he has a monster. Re- I don't care. We need a freaking cornerback. Now, if we draft who we draft and then get the cornerback in free agency, like getting a Patrick Peterson or something, then, then I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. But all I'm saying is that's the biggest need on the team. Now, on... To Nick Foles. This dude. It's it's a problem, man. I, I see it right now, man. First of all, the Vikings are going to lose to the Bears because apparently the Bears have something to play for. Um, se- Oh, yeah, because they can be the second seed and get a first round bye. And then Rams will be a third seed. Um, But anyway. uh, So, Nick Foles comes in. Starts lighting it up. I mean, he threw 471 passing yards and four touchdowns. 471 passing yards to the franchise record. Let me tell you something, bro. Carson Wentz is way better than Nick Foles. We all know. But it's something special going on with that team. When Nick Foles is with that squad, they play differently. The same thing that happened with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. When he started, they play differently. Um, People in my house, man. They play differently, man. Um, trying to, you know, heal me up since I'm not feeling good, man. They they play differently, but they play differently. The Eagles. I'm telling you, I already know what's gonna happen, bro. The Eagles are gonna come in at the sixth seed. Whoever they play, they gonna beat. The next team they gonna beat, and then they gonna face the Saints in the dome. Now I'm not gonna say it. I'm not saying they gonna beat the Saints in the dome. I'm not. That's definitely not what I'm gonna say. But it, I don't care if he just gets them from where they're like six and seven or whatever they was. I don't care to a NFC Championship game like that. You gotta ride. Like I know Nick Foles isn't better than Wentz, and through a regular season, Nick Foles might be Joe Flacco. He might he might be Joe Flacco. And when I say that, I mean Flacco garbage couldn't get you there in a the regular season. But when the playoffs came around, Flacco was amazing. Maybe that's Nick Foles. When playoffs and the end of the season in December come around, he's just amazing, but he can't get you through the regular season. My point is, bro, I'm I'm sorry to say, but this dude got some special juice with this team that's just unexplainable, man. This dude won the Super Bowl. Nigga, if he win them another Super Bowl, it's over for Carson Wentz. Like, because the Eagles really are good enough. Everybody knows how good their roster is. That's why we were criticizing them so much for underachieving. But the Eagles, uh... They roster is really good, man. They they could win the Super Bowl with that roster, bro. Like straight up. I'm not. I don't think they will though. But like straight up, man. Um. So uh, Carson Wentz is in mad trouble right now, bro. But uh, I think Carson is kind kind of end up like Stafford, meaning like he got hurt the first two years and then he'll end up having a streak of healthiness. That's what I think is gonna happen with Carson. But anyway, um, Lamar Jackson, bro. I mean, what can I say? You know, all the white people, and they continue to hate. 
people continue to think he can't throw the ball. You know, you know, you know. My question is like, when people think Lamar Jackson can't throw the ball, I'll be like, did you even watch him at Louisville? Did you watch him against Clemson when Clemson was like the number one defense? I mean, they lost the game, but they only lost the game because the receiver was literally at the one he need to get one yard, and he caught the ball and then run forward. But uh, Lamar made the play, so it wasn't on him. Um, this dude, Lamar Jackson, bro. Unstoppable, man. I mean, the Chargers defense is so freaking good, and they couldn't handle him. They couldn't stop him either. I mean, we know the Ravens defense. I'm just going to say that, dog. This feel like one of them Ravens years, man. Like, one of the years. Like, the Ravens always randomly win a Super Bowl. Like, 2012, NFL was kind of weak in 2012, to be honest. NFL was kind of trash in 2012. Ravens won and then won the Super Bowl. I ain't calling them trash for winning, but I'm just saying it was one of them years where you were like you didn't. It was one of the years like this year, meaning you didn't know. This year you don't know who the most dominant team is. You don't know who's gonna come out the playoffs. It could be the Chargers. It could be the Ravens. It could be the Patriots. It could be the Chiefs. It could be the Saints. It can be the Rams. It can be uh, the Seahawks. The Seahawks. Like you don't know what's gonna happen. And when it, when that's when stuff like that happens, the team with the best defense and running game, you know, slides on through. I remember when the Broncos dominated with a journeyman Peyton Manning because he he was not the same, shell of himself. They went with a journeyman Peyton Manning and a legendary defense, and they won a Super Bowl with a. Do y'all not remember how trash Peyton Manning was in the Super Bowl? Like he did nothing in the Super Bowl. And almost all I'm gonna tell you is Lamar Jackson can do nothing. Not turn the ball over, make a few big plays like he did that 68 yard touchdown pass. Make a few big plays and easily win them playoff games. And like, all he got to do is manage the game at this point. I don't care. He's not like he's a game manager, but the Ravens are not going to let him throw the ball. And honestly, dude, I'm going to be real. Um, Max Kellerman said this, and I agree with the point he was trying to make. He's basically saying because of the defense and the way that the Ravens are, they're actually better suited with a quarterback that runs the football more than they more than he throws. I mean like a guy if a guy like Stafford was on that team, yeah the team would still be really good, but can Stafford get that time of possession? Can Stafford get that easy first down? Could I mean Andrew Luck like it could be a lot of quarterbacks could go in there and light it up there, but Lamar is like perfect for the juice of this he makes the defense better. Because of him, they have a running game that's unprecedented. Like, and I watch, I watch the whole game. Like, there's nobody. Look, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm about to be 100. Only way the Ravens lose in the playoffs or lose next week to the Browns is Lamar throws interceptions. Because I'm telling you, I've, we seen Lamar Jackson in college with nothing. Trash-ass defense. Y'all just gave Lamar Jackson a defense, bro. He can make plays. He's a playmaker. That's what he does. He's a playmaker, and playmakers make plays. <laughs> like, and my point is, playmakers win Super Bowls. This, this look, man. We, we can say Russell Wilson was garbage and when twenty thirteen when Seattle won a Super Bowl and they had that shattering ass defense. Well, hmm, Russell Wilson was a second year quarterback. Don't this look just like that? Because remember what y'all what they said about Russell Wilson? Remember how they was trash for Russell Wilson back in twenty? Oh, he can't throw. Because I mean, like, even now, Russell Wilson. You can say he couldn't throw now because he wasn't accurate in the last game, day one. But like you can say, like, he, Russell Wilson still to this day misses throws that I know. That's why I always say Stafford is the way better pass. Like, he misses throws that, like, other quarterbacks would make. But guess what? Russell Wilson's an elite quarterback. He's a fucking monster because he's a fucking playmaker. And you had Russell Wilson with the Legion of Boom. I'm telling you, this is the best. I don't know, like, last year they had, like, four or five shutoffs. But this is the best Ravens defense I've seen in a long time. And honestly, I honestly think they could make. I mean, like, what team in the league is going to stop this defense? In the league. Yes, I said in the league, bro. If Lamar don't turn the ball over, I, I could see them easily winning the Super Bowl. Like, what is Tom Brady old ass going to go do against the defense? They're going to eat him a lot. Only people that I think can beat them is the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. You know why? Because they actually beat the Ravens. Ravens played that amazing ass defense, and Patrick Mahomes went <laughs> converted on a fourth and nine and a fourth and five. Like, that's fucking ridiculous because he's Patrick Mahomes, the greatest quarterback I've ever seen. So he's the only guy that can do it. The Chargers, they like, well, the Chargers could beat man Phillip Rivers to choker. He ain't beating no Ravens defense. Oh, uh, who else? Houston Texans. Hey, I, I I trust Deshaun Watson. 
He he could he could beat them, maybe. I trust Deshaun Watson, but like it, it's just so tough. Like and maybe Drew Brees could beat them in the Super Bowl. I definitely don't see the see the ramp. There's no way in hell Jared Goff could beat that. Could beat the Ravens. Why? Cause he, yeah, man, that'd be it'd be pick city. Just trust me. And I told y'all about Jared Goff. I remember I was telling my DBE members, and I was no, I told Mambies when he was trying to try Stafford. I was like, if Stafford. I was like, so you telling me Mitch Trubisky and Jared Goff better than Stafford right now because of the way he was playing? And he's like, yeah, they better right now. I'm like, you telling me Carson Wentz better right now? And the man be like, yeah. And I'm like, first of all, they not. Carson Wentz, he, he was proving my point. Second of all, uh, Jared Goff has been playing like garbage. I told you, his team carry. If you gave Stafford that team, they wouldn't have lost some of them games. Jared Goff, he did, like, his team was playing great, and Jared Goff just started playing like garbage. The moment he lost Cooper Cup, Garbage. Nigga, Stafford loses all his receivers, still got Kenny G doing work, and lost carry on. Just like, I mean, and it's this great play calling, and Jericho just, just throwing interceptions. Mr. Bisky, we know that dude ain't, we know he being carried. Let, I mean, like, Khalil Mack getting back sacks. Like, come on, bro. And my point is, you can get carried. Lamar Jackson, he. I would say he's getting carried too. I can't even say he's not because he's a rookie. He's not being getting carried by them because he's carrying them because he the they're running offense. Let me explain if the Ravens running offense is high special and I think it's gonna translate to the playoffs and then we're gonna talk about these pistons. Shout out to Michigan though. They handling work on the basketball court. Please win a championship this year and make the whole state happy. Um, even though Duke is Duke. Um and Gonzaga is Gonzaga. But <laughs> um so, let, let's, let, let, let's start with this, man. Every time that they run the ball, the Ravens, it's like the defense. And I, I literally watched the Chargers. Yeah, they, they kept Lamar from scrambling a lot, and that's kind of why they lost the game. But it's like you don't know what's going on. If Lamar Jackson's in the backfield, he's the best athlete on the field, the fastest person on the field, he can run the ball at any given time. The moment he's handing the ball off to the running back, you have to. Like, no, literally. Listen to me. I'm looking straight in the camera. You have to. You have to wait at least a few milliseconds or a second to see what Lamar going to do. You can't instantly focus on the running back. Like, we give carry on the ball. They can key in on carry on instantly. You have to wait because this, this is the thing. If you don't wait them little milliseconds and you just focus on the running back, what Lamar going to do? He going to pull it and murder you. So you literally... Have to watch Lamar for a few seconds. It literally slows your defense down because you have to watch what he going to do even though he's giving the ball to the running back. You have to literally watch him. Like the thing that's special about this offense, this Raven offense, it's like amazing. It's like the Ravens, call all their runs are delayed. So they'll delay the run to make you even have to wait even more to slow your defense down even more. So the defense reaction time is down. Even when the times when the Chargers defense was tackling Lamar on the backfield and actually getting after him, it was still was delayed. It's just because they have a lot of athletes, so they was able to get close to speed. When you got athletes, you can close it. It still was delayed. And that's why the, the, their run defense, run offense is so special because every time they run the ball, he's such a threat. You have to pay attention no matter what they do. And that's why I'm like, this dude is about to be a nightmare. Because we know, the smart people, we know Lamar can throw the ball. I've seen him do it in college. He just needs opportunities. And his receive. But nobody talking about how garbage his receiving core is. Michael Travis is garbage. Uh, 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 the dude from Arizona that he used to play there, I can't even remember his name. Who else on it? Like, he don't got no receivers. They ask. So, let, 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 let's talk about the fact that he has no playmakers. So, we don't even know if he can throw the ball. Who is he throwing to? But, uh. That that's that man. That's like, but the point is, you can't. That's not something you can stop. I'm sorry. If you want to beat the Ravens, you know how you beat the Ravens. You score points on that defense. You're not gonna stop the ball control offense of the Ravens because it's it's unstoppable because of Lamar Jackson. I'm sorry. Outside of Tyreek Hill and Saquon Barkley, Lamar Jackson, in my opinion, is the fastest person in the entire league. And he's a quarterback. <laughs> the third fastest person in the entire league is a fucking quarterback. Are you kidding me? Like. Then you like I say like you have because if you don't delay like Lamar Jackson is a smart quarterback. If you don't, if he see that you just going after, he gonna pull that ball run for fifty yards. Like you just you, I don't I can't explain it, man. You just have to, and because I watched the Ravens every week the Lamar started, so I watched it even in the Chiefs game. They was leading the Chiefs twenty four seventeen, and Patrick Mahomes had to 
do a miracle just to win that game. Like, a miracle just to win that game. All right. The Pistons, man. First, Reggie Jackson has to go. I was wrong, y'all. I don't want Markel Fultz. I think he's a bust. But at this point, I'm really going to take on the bust. <laughs> Reggie Jack. Look, this is the thing. It's not even Reggie Jackson talent. It's his style of play. It's like he's not a threat on the court anymore. I don't know what happened to him. Reggie Jackson is shooting 39% from the field and 30% from three. And he's getting 15 points a game, which means if he's shooting that bad, getting 15 points, that means he's taking a lot of shots to get those points. I don't know why, but he it's just like he's not a threat passing. He's not a threat scoring no more. I don't know what's wrong with him. Um, also, Ish Smith being gone is a big – it's messing with the team a lot because we know Ish Smith would have murdered the Hawks. Like, we had Ish Smith, there's no way we would have lost to the Hawks. Every Piston fan knows that. Um – the Pistons are they're in trouble right now because they have to get rid of Reggie. Like it, they have to. Like at this point I'm I'm going to take Fultz because I don't I think he's the biggest bust in NBA history, yeah. But maybe somehow if he's developed right, he can at least be average enough to be better. Like look, this is the thing that I do like about Fultz. He he's a bust because of his scoring ability. Like, people talk about Lonzo, but Lonzo averaged 14 points per game in college. We knew he wasn't a scorer. Fultz was averaging, like, 25 points per game. It's his scoring. But one thing about Fultz, guess what? Fultz can pass the ball, and I do know Fultz is a threat slashing to the rim. And he at least can slash and dish. Reggie can't even do that right now. He can't even slash and dish. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, he can't. Even, he's not even a threat passing the ball. So, like, it's just all bad right now. Like, Markel might not be a threat offensively, but he'll at least be a threat passing the ball, and he'll at least be a threat going to the rim. And at this point, even if I think he's a huge one, I'm taking it because the team looks – we just lost to the Hawks. I'm taking Markel Fultz. I don't care. That's how bad I feel about this team right now because like, we're too talented and good to be losing to the Hawks. I know Blake choked some free throws, but everybody played bad against the Hawks, man. Fuck it. Everybody getting this word. I don't care if you had a good game like Galloway had a good game. I don't give a fuck. Y'all all garbage. Y'all lost to the fucking Hawks. Y'all fucking trash. Got to get rid of Reggie Jackson, bro. He has to leave this basketball team. He has to. Long video. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas to all the DVE members. Merry Christmas to everybody, all my subscribers, all the people who are not even watching videos. Merry Christmas. I'm not really one of them Christmas spirit type people like that, but I have a personal reason for that. But anyway, man, I'm out of here, dog.